We've uh, had a, uh, an invitation from uh, John Holland and from Ramsey Healthcare to come and inspect uh, the development of the new private hospital and uh, we've had a number of councillors and other interested parties go through this morning and uh, it's very, very impressive. December next year is when we're targeted to start public patient services on the site. Um, the construction's going well at this stage. If we can open a little bit earlier, um, we will certainly do that. So we're trying to target a November opening. But and this is the start of you know, what will be a huge medical precinct here at uh, Oceanside Kiwana. Uh, it's a big hospital and walking through it, you can feel it's a big hospital, very well equipped, but it's only one eighth the size of the public hospital that will be built beside it and, uh, and progress is already uh, underway there. So this is going to be a really, really important economic driver for our community well into the future, well beyond the construction phase um, and into the servicing and operational side. It will be a great boost um, uh, in the uh, medical and allied industries. Certainly the whole campus when it's finished is going to be uh, a major centre for healthcare on the Sunshine Coast and hopefully everything that you need healthcare wise is going to be available on this site. I understand that on the Ramsey website they've had over 2,000 expressions of interest from people looking for work. Well, we know when we open that we'll have around 700 jobs available. At the moment we have over 2,000 expressions of interest on the website. We did, that, uh, we did the website so we could gauge how many people will we be able to employ locally versus people we might need to bring in from out of the area. At the moment we think probably 90% of the positions will be filled by locals. We've had strong interest from um, allied health people, nursing staff, uh, all areas of the hospital administration. My uh, understanding of Ramsey's plan is that they want to sell people on the quality of the hospital, the quality of the service it's going to provide. Um, and obviously the Sunshine Coast lifestyle will be a secondary benefit um, and I think that's a very admirable way to go. But so we actually thought that administration, catering, housekeeping, all those sort of roles that we would be 100% from the local community and we would probably need to go outside for some of the nursing and physios and things like that but um, we're really surprised that uh, most of the workforce yes, is here and, and really keen to work at the, at the new site. The hub centre is really essential for the Sunshine Coast I think because um, hospital services are only one small aspect of, of health care. We need people like um, sports medicines, video, physios and dieticians and psychologists and um, retail pharmacies. We need so much infrastructure that surrounds the hospital so I think the development of the, um, the medical hub around these two facilities is really essential as well.